Well, good morning, everybody. My name is Dr. Stock, and this video is for entertainment purposes only. Today, I want to talk to you about Cardano, where I think its recent price action is going. Is it going to $3? Yes or no? I think it depends on a few things, and I'm going to share those things with you. So in the meantime, we'll check it out. I'll also give you my long-term prediction for Cardano by the end of this video. And so if you do like what I have to say, hit that like button for right now. Let's get ready to rock. Welcome back. It's great to have you all here. And I'm going to be pushing this video out to you as soon as I can because crypto moves so darn quick that I don't know what's going to happen to price action. Uh, by the time I release this video, it could be old information by the time that it's put out. And what I think is going to happen could have already happened. We're just going to have to wait and see. Let me share out my screen to you. We'll talk about Cardano. We'll talk about some of the other things that I think are going to influence it. And, uh, you know, we'll just see how the video plays out. So while you're waiting for me to transition, if you haven't hit the like button, make sure you hit it. All right. So here we go. We got coin market cap up. We got it ready to go. Wow, that was crazy. I don't even know what I just did. Let me zoom in a little bit. So here's the top three on coin market cap by market cap. So we have uh, our friend Bitcoin rocking almost a trillion dollars in market cap. We have Ethereum rocking almost $400 billion in market cap. And then we have Cardano rocking nearly $100 billion in market cap. So these are our top three cryptos. Cardano has been creeping up a lot recently with its price action, having climbed this list from being in the top 10 to being in the top three. So of course, still in the top 10. So let's go in and we'll check out the uh, the view that we have for Cardano. So what you're going to see is a green line on here that's going to show the price action over the lifetime since the ADA token has been released. And uh, it was it actually went pretty well at first that we had it really pi uh, pop up over a dollar all the way back in 2018. And then it went down to a nickel or so for a while. And then uh, more recently than that, we saw a spike going up over to uh, the $2 range, almost to the $2.5 range. And then now you can see this, this straight up climb that we have. And typically when we get a straight up climb, we get a tumble. However, I think that we have a little bit more interest in, uh, interesting things going on. It's going to push it just a little bit further in the near term. So let me bring up the candlesticks on coin market cap, and I'll show you a little bit more of what I'm talking about. So with this view that you have right here, you can see the most recent high that it's had at two dollars and forty-seven cents, and then we see this sell-off that we had in the crypto market, followed by this double bottom support, making this nice little W shape. And had we broken over this peak over here, that means that's a, uh, a bullish signal for us that is going to continue. And that's exactly what happened. More recently, we made this uh, bullish flag formation. If you've been watching my live streams, you heard me talking about this and the fact that it could break out. I think I even put the drawings on there so you could see uh, where our breakout levels were, whether it's break to the upside or downside. And we broke to the upside, what a strong day. And then more recently, I set a tiny little pennant formation coming up possibly breaking out again, but the bulls do get tired. So the more we push up on this, uh, the, the more likely it is that it's going to start to resist sooner than later. And I think that we're going to push up on that $3 resistance. As a matter of fact, right now, uh, we're, our most recent high is $2.87, almost $2.88 per ADA token for Cardano. And we will look intraday to see a little bit more of that price action as what's happening. A few signs that we have right now that the bulls are starting to get tired. We have a little bit of volume tapering on this next candle that we have here. And that's not everything, but we will bring up the RSI for the momentum indicator. There we go. So what we can see when we look at the RSI, we are above 70. So we are in the overbought territory. We're not as peaky as we were before. We had really strong momentum. Now we still have strong momentum, just less so, but the price is still going up. So what this could be is an early sign of bearish divergence. However, being an early sign, that divergence could continue, which means the price action continues to go up while the momentum continues to go down. And we start to see more volume tapering as that goes on. And so what can happen there is that you start, uh, once you get that divergence, the bearish divergence, that you end up getting a significant pullback that follows. So that's something that we want to keep in mind while we watch the price action for Cardano. Do I think it's going to hit $3? Absolutely, I believe that it's going to hit $3 if it hits it by Wednesday. So by that time, we should have enough information to see if it's going to cool off and taper off. Uh, we could, I mean, as that information plays out, it could change the game, but there is, I do have reasons why I think it's going to hit that. Let's look intraday. So here you can see more of the RSI. We're still in bullish territory. We were overbought 
and then we settled a little bit and we started consolidating so we see still in that bullish area however with that consolidation we lose some of the momentum that was in it so we had a nice little run up and a little either pennant that was skewed a little bit to the downside or you could call it a little bit of a flag and then we failed to really truly break out from that we started barcoding a little bit so could we break out of this sometime in the near future? We could, but I don't think that Cardano is going to do it by itself. We can see that volume tapering off. I think that this is one that's going to, uh, by itself, I think it would hit resistance. However, we have other factors at play that I think could push Cardano up just a little bit higher before the bulls rest a little bit before we move on to that longer term price prediction that I have to talk to you about. So do I think that it's going to hit $3? I think it really, really has a really strong chance today tomorrow, Wednesday at the latest to hit that $3 mark. So let's go back out and I'll show you why or, or how that would take place. So Bitcoin, something that really uh, spurred on Cardano is that Bitcoin has broken the $50,000 mark. Bitcoin's the number one and the other cryptos that follow it tend to move right along with it. So I think that Bitcoin's, as long as support holds at 50,000 and it pushes up just a little bit more, a little bit farther to get to that $1 trillion market cap, I think that's also going to bring Ethereum up to the $400 billion market cap and probably exceeding $400 billion a little bit. And I think that both of those are going to have enough influence to uh, pull Cardano up to that $3 level with them before we see some sort of rest coming out of those cryptos. And especially Cardano finally taking that, that break that the, uh, that the bulls need in the meantime. So those are things that I think that we should keep in mind for Cardano. The smart contract date is September the 12th with the Alonso release. So when Alonso comes out, we get the smart contracts on September the 12th. We could see a buy the rumor until then. So we could still see that $3 mark happen sometime in there. And if we do break significantly above three, then it turns into support at which we could hold. For right now, I think it's going to be an area of really strong resistance for us in the near term. I think as the upgrades continue to go into Cardano, my long-term prediction for this and get ready for it, hit the like button if you like what I have to say here. I think it will push on to that $5 mark. That to me is a really easy thing over the next several years for that to play out. Probably by end of year 2022, it's really likely that we'll see that. So that would be around a $200 billion market cap from what we have right now. For this, in order to run up uh, another, we'll say 10%-ish to get us up to that $100 uh, billion market cap, that would put us comfortably over $3 per share. So if Bitcoin runs, if Ethereum runs, then I think Cardano will run right along with it. That team effort that will uh, drag it along, leave no man behind. And I think that we could see Cardano hit that $3. And I think we'll still see volatility. I think we'll still have sell-off periods. I think Ethereum's going to do very well. Bitcoin's going to do very well. Certainly bullish on both of those. And I think Cardano is going to be pulled along with them uh, as they play out over time. So. Uh, I'll save the Bitcoin and Ethereum talk for another video. I do have to get to my live stream, but I wanted to share my thoughts with you guys. So uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. Hit the like button if you haven't. I really appreciate that. Uh, if you want to support yourself while supporting me, I have referral links for Moomoo. The, Chihang, the uh, Chinese markets, by the way, are down right now. So great time to invest in those. Moomoo gives you access to those Chinese, Chinese markets. Um, and you also get free stocks for the sign up and a deposit. Same thing for Webull, except for you don't get access to the Chinese markets, uh, but you do get free stocks for the sign up and the deposit. I get free stocks for either one of those for the referral. So thank you very much. I have time for those. The Patreon, if you want to check it out, I got the link down in the description there as well. I'd love to see over my Discord. I put out a weekly newsletter, weekly watch list of stocks, and also you get access to my portfolios over there and uh, just more... Uh, like FaceTime will call it with me in the meantime. So thank you very much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Remember these videos are for entertainment purposes only. Always do your own research and due diligence. Contact a financial advisor before making any financial decisions. I'm Dr. Stock. Thanks for rocking with me. Now go get that money.